this lesson, we are going to be using Google Apps Script to calculate a letter grade depending on a numeric grade. We've got a chart here that we're going to be using so we can adjust items within the chart. So if we want to have a range of 85 plus is the A, if uh, anything between 70 and 84 is going to be a B, and anything uh, between 60 and 70 is going to be a C. So we've got the corresponding grades being returned back. And this is all done with Apps Script in the back. In this lesson, we're going to be converting a numeric grade to a letter grade. And this is where we need to have a chart that this is going to be where the lower limit of the grade. So anything above 90 will be an A, anything above 80 a B, um, between 80 and 90 a B, C, D, and then F. And you can also format these just to be regular numbers as well. So I'm just updating this to just be a regular number. So now let's go into the app script and create our customized formula. So that's available under extensions, app script. That's going to open up the app script editor and now we can create our function. So this function is going to be called convert to letter grade. And we're going to need some values. So we've got the numeric number and then the grade scale that we want to use. And then within here, let's set up an array that we can use. That's going to have the letter grades that are going to be returned back. So we're going to be returning it back for all of the values that are being passed in through the numeric. This is actually going to be number Great. So it's going to be plural because we're taking in an array. So let's set up the initial loop looping through for the value of i, while i is less than the number of items within the number grades array. And that's where we've got use the length property, increment i by 1. And then here we can calculate out. So let's get first, we'll get our numeric grade. And this will come in from the num grades array using the index value of i so that we have a value variable that we can use for this and also let's set up a value for the letter grade and this is going to be returning back that letter grade so this should actually be const and returning back the letter grade we're going to create a helper function so this will get the letter grade value and it's going to take in couple values so it's going to be the numeric grade so the value and then the grade scale coming in from the spreadsheet and the grade scale again is going to be the values that we've got in here so we're going to pass in that array into there and then what we want to do once we've got a result there then we take the letter grades and we push the result into the array so we want to set it up as a separate column and that's where we're going to be taking whatever we're getting returned back from the letter grade into that column. And then at the end of the function, let's return back the value for the letter grades. So return back the array of letter grades so that it can populate that information back into the spreadsheet. We need to create our helper function. This is a function that we're going to have just within the app script going to help us do the calculation for the letter grades. So we've got the numeric grade and the grade scale that we want to use. So we want to create another loop looping through the values that we have within the grade scale. So looping through while i is less than the value that we have, uh, length of the grade scale. And this is going to be an array since there's multiple items within the spreadsheet that we're going to be populating in here. And then we check to see if the number grade is greater than or equal to the grade scale. And this is where we're using the index value of i. So we're turning back the first item within the array. And if that's true, then we return back the grade scale index value of i and then we'll return back the second item within the grayscale. So also to be more exact, let's use the index value of zero there for the value that we're returning back. So if there's nothing, then we're going to be returning back. So if nothing gets returned back, then we're just returning back a blank entry. 
I think we're ready to try this out and go back into the sheets and let's uh, calculate out our grade scale. So let's populate this information. So first parameter, we've got the A2 to A4, and then this is where we've got the grade scale that we're passing in. So that gives us a return value back for the values from A, C, and D. So we can also, if we were to update this, so let's say this was A70, so it's gonna still return back A, C. Let's say this is an 80 now, so it's gonna return back A, B. So if it's 81, then that's gonna be returning back. And let's uh, try this. So it should be returning back a value of A if it goes over, if it's 90 and above. If we want to adjust this, some cases, maybe you want a value of 80 and above to be an A, 70 and above to be a B, 60 and above to be a C, and 50 and above to be a D. So we can update these as well, and that will update the corresponding grades. So go ahead and try it out for yourself.